with astrology. You know how things start, like heavy drug problems start with marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> Mine started with astrology. Um, no, this is his latest film, The Nice Guy, that he was working on in the, in the city square. I'd uh, got a ring from my agent and uh, had a day's work there and turned into two days' work. So what did you do? Um, I just sat around. <laughs> I was just an extra. I had to do stuff, you know, walk pedestrian. I was pedestrian. But, uh, With how many others? Uh, five or six. Well, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah. And like, what a was that? A hundred uh, real pedestrians. <laughs> <laughs> but I got a photo with the Chancellor. I got a photo with him and me with his arm arm around me, which was uh, something for the scrapbook. Did you get up at six o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Gee, well, I'm going to have to start doing that soon. I bought runners, beef on. Oh wow. So I said when I left yesterday, I said I'll see you at quarter to eight. <laughs> I said I'm going to buy some runners. <laughs> I have to jog there. Jog to? To therapy. Where are you going? <laughs> go to work. I'm going to have this whole life before I even start work. It's going to be funny, isn't it? I oh, reckon. You're joking, aren't you? No. You're, not, you're going to jog to your therapy? Yeah. Well, I get fish. Yeah. I get fish. Physically and mentally. Yeah, and I'll be awake. And I'll probably do a much better job than I do going at the end of a day when you burdened with all your... It'll kill your nightlife though. I haven't got one. I really don't have one. And on the second day I finally, uh, my natural incl inclination was, was not to because I felt a bit of a goose doing, doing that but I uh, thought it was too good an opportunity so I you know, just got the camera out and I asked him where he'd take a photo with me. He said no worries. Yeah. And did you get a chat to him at all apart from that? or? No. No. No, that's it. That's it. Thanks, Jackie. And do you know what was happening in the scene when that you were meant to be in? Uh, he was running away from some bad guys. I've uh, been out of control, <laughs> basically. Mum, do you know who the Prime Minister of Australia is? Well, I think it's time I... Uh, there's a part of me that's very disciplined. It's never been allowed out. <laughs> do you know what the most famous thing is? Um... I'm going to start having strict routines, strict, um, you know, up at six, maybe even meditate. Anyway, uh, what the idea was that he makes tapes of the session and you take him home and so going there and he, the first question he asks is like now think of a place where you feel safe and at that stage nowhere I'm going like you know. I'm going oh uh, he's looking at me like dickhead <laughs> I just couldn't think of anywhere <laughs> I thought it was safe and um, so I just made one up which was the pine forest in Sunbury which is where we used to go and smoke as we were teenagers and we wagged school best on just a little when you say when <laughs> I say pine forest, it was typical Sunbury. Whatever Sunbury was, it was never anything like Pine Forest was like about maybe twenty trees <laughs> between <laughs> Mally's Whirlpool and the football oval. <laughs> There was a little path through. We call it the pine forest. It was a, you know, you could see it, you know. And <clears throat> You felt safe there? No, no, it was, it was uh, just the only place I could think. And so I said the pine for us, so at the start of every session he'd go, I want you to imagine you're in the pine forest in Sunbury. <laughs> Start to giggle. <laughs> and the thing about uh, every session, I'd end up with this headache. Um, I think I have to just try really hard to not laugh. I keep seeing, keep seeing him everywhere I go. 
I go down to the shops, I've seen him, and when I'm just walking around the street, I've seen him, and um, it's like getting to the point where I just can't figure out what, why, and I'm just sure it can't be a coincidence. I went to this astrology once, have I told you the chocolate story? And like, I, I can't understand why anyone would be following me, like, I don't even really know anybody, and it's sort of like, it's weird because it's not like it's just in the same spot that I keep seeing him. I've seen him all over the place in different times of the day. I've seen him at night time, I've seen him in the city, I've just seen him around the corner. Just kind of weird, really. I, I don't know if I'm paranoid, I never really thought of myself as being paranoid. I mean, the first couple of times you see someone, sort of a couple of times, and you think, oh, well, that's fair enough, but it's just getting to the point where it's sort of ridiculous, really. Oh, he was American. This is really important. He was American or Canadian. I'm not sure. He goes, would you like some spiritual healing? I do some spiritual healing with this sort of thing. And I go, um, yes, yes, please. So he um, turns, goes, he turns the light down. He goes and puts on light, not light down, like a dim light. It's like he had a, he knew he was going to do it all along. Um, Oh, that's right, and all through the reading was going about what a powerful chart I had, you know, and this power I had and everything. I'm like, <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so anyway, he, he dims the lights, he puts on the new age music, bing, bong, 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 bong. you know, all that sort of sound. I'm just like sitting there, you know, and he puts a chair in the middle of the room and he goes, <coughs> still rubbing his hands, and he's going. Now, um, in order to do this, I have to use direct contact to your chakras. I'm thinking to my chakras, what's going on here? And, um, I go, oh no, sorry, no, I couldn't, you know, you have to, have to keep my clothes on. And, um, I don't know what he was, anyway, he's putting one hand here and I like, just kept moving down lower and lower, like there was no spiritual healing going on. I'm just like having a, an enormous drama, like, very conscious of every second where his hand was, and he had the other hand there, and then he was going, <laughs> he go, whoa! <laughs> it's like, he's going, whoa! <laughs> what am I doing here? What am I doing to this man? He's going, it's powerful, very powerful. <laughs> and then I found out later, I was reading this Indian book, he wasn't saying chakras, he was saying chakras. <laughs> Like, they're your um, energy centres. He's going, I have to use direct contact, your chakras. Well, the other day I was um, out at the airport. I was seeing this um, friend of mine off who happens to be about my only, only person I know in Melbourne who was, well, going overseas for a couple of years. And uh, I was just, you know, I took him out there and I was taking a photograph of him just as he was leaving. And just one evening, bon voyage. And I didn't, I didn't notice or think well, I didn't notice anything at the time, but when I got the uh, got the film back, I was looking at the photograph, and lo and behold, that guy's in the background, just sort of looking, looking at. As I walked out, he was still going like, "We're all powerful." <laughs> and I wasn't at all. You know, I am now. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, that's what really sort of sent me over the edge and really freaked me out. Because that was just way too weird. And you got your red chakra down here, which is your sexuality and your earth and all that. Yeah. Then you got your orange chakra here, which is your instinctive nature. Um, yellow chakra around here, which is your courage. Green chakra here, which is communication. You know your heart. Yeah. Your heart. Um, blue chakra here, which is uh, communication. And then this uh, purple chakra here, which is um, your intellectual, whatever. And then this white light, it's <laughs> <you know, laughs> your spirituality.
he'd said all this stuff about, oh, yeah, you know, I was going to have this spiritual sex and um, all this stuff. None of it had happened, you know. And I was just wait. I fell in love, like, with about ten people a month then because I just kept thinking the spiritual sex is going to happen. I'm going to, you know, like, like a power. You know, like, and um, it didn't happen, and he said I must have been blocking it somehow. So it was my fault, you know. I don't think I'm paranoid, but, well... I'm moving out anyway. I'm, I don't know if that's a good enough reason to move out, move out for, but, well, the place is a dump anyway, and uh, I owe three months rent, I think. Emotionally, mm -hmm. and I wasn't able to do any work for a couple of years, and uh, now I'm just sort of starting to get together, and all the lawyers' bills have come in, mm -hmm. and part of the problem with the, uh, you know, sorry, <laughs> sorry, um, it was my husband. Uh, was that he was actually involved in some of the importing exporting we were doing and he's actually he didn't realize at the time he was breaching some customs requirements and I made it romantic he's not really that romantic you know he was just rich <laughs> and that I found romantic I've been thinking about to getting someone into the house I might have to have quite a nice spare room. You know, I'm working things out. If I do this work, get someone into the house, a bit from that, um, and also I look around for something else I can do. I'm not qu quite sure what it is, but I want to use up every hour of my time to somehow be earning money. He's got somebody else. Really nice teeth. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 that's okay. You know, and I went and saw a clairvoyant not long ago who said it was over. I was a bit, you know, thinking maybe I could get it together once this was over. No, I, I, I don't really want to get that very long. I will be having a big romance soon. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, well, they told me it's coming. Yeah, it's out there, it's for me, it's in the car. So, and I feel ready, you know, I'm ready. You know, it's like I've sent myself out to the universe, sent out this message, 
Yeah. I'm here. Come on. Come get me. You know. And it's just a matter of that person coming into that like force field, and it's just like going to go. Phew, you know, like that. Once they get in, I mean, they're a bit outside. You know, like uh, full of gravity. You know, they're not quite in the circle yet. This is what the boy is talking about. Around me, I've got this swirling. You know, gravity. Yeah, so it's a... Yeah. So I hope it's rich. <laughs> 